Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrail, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the double waste valve on your 2011 Coachman Freelander Class C motorhome. This double waste valve is going to come with two easy to use levers. Um, you can easily pull that open, close it up, it's going to close that valve up. They can easily be swapped out if you just go ahead and pull those bolts from your old one. Instead of having to cut off pipes, add in extra fittings, and glue it all together, now obviously if your fittings or your pipes next to it are kind of damaged then you will want to fully do it and swap it over but this should be a really really easy setup for you and then once you're complete all you have to do is put that cap right back over and you're all good to go. So today our neighbor is needing his double waste valve replaced on his motorhome. Um, we can take a quick look at what exactly is wrong with our system here. They have it all kind of taped up. So we'll need to peel back that tape. And if we have no issue with our pipe itself, we can easily just undo these little bolts on each one of our valves and just swap it out without having to actually glue anything. But we'll first need to remove all of this tape. So now that we've got this uh, completely cleared off of all that tape and we can get a better view of what's going on in here, it is just the valve that's broken. So we can definitely go ahead and just unhook this by taking out our four bolts and then we can do the same thing over on our gray tank side and then just pull the whole waste valve out. So I've gone ahead, I've gotten all of my bolts out. I just have it kind of sitting here with the valves open because there's still some Water left in our sewer, and it's all coming out right now. I've got that draining out. Definitely doesn't smell the best, so if you still have some water in yours, make sure you throw on a respirator and stay safe. Um, after that, I've gone ahead and I've started taking off the uh, pieces for our new drain. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take that flange off with our hub and then bolt this right into our old one. That way it's super easy. We don't have to cut anything. We don't have to re-glue anything in place. So when you're doing this, you're definitely gonna make sure that you remove your old uh, seal on there. There's a little gasket seal and use the new one. You should see one on both sides. I'm gonna pop this one off and we'll put this on our old flange as well. You might need to get a little screwdriver just to kind of get in there. So I'm going to set that little gasket aside. And we'll grab our gray tank gasket. Set that aside as well because I want to swap those out make sure that everything's good for our new setup here. Now if you really wanted to and there's no issues with the pipes itself on your double waste valve, you honestly could just swap out just the valves because all it is is, like I said, just bolted in place. It's really easy to just take apart and swap out instead of having to replace the whole unit itself. But we can go ahead, we'll pop this out. It's still got a little bit of glue from that tape on there. Set those aside. And here you can see the old gasket. It's probably not in too bad a shape, but like I said, I wanna make sure that we swap it out, get something nice and new in there. Swap on our new one. Nope. Actually, it doesn't look like there's one on this side, so that one might have worn away. So we can go ahead and push that in place. All right, we can stick our waste valve on. And just get these started. And come back and tighten it once we have everything in place. And now we can just repeat that same process on the other side with our gray tank valve. All right. Now that we have that in place, uh, I don't have it fully tightened yet, so I can kind of position this how I want. I'm going to try and angle it down just a bit because we want everything going downhill. Happy with that. Now we can go ahead and just start tightening up all of our bolts and nuts. While you're doing this, you do want to get it nice and tight, but you want to be careful because these parts are all plastic. So if you tighten it too much, you could end up cracking it and breaking off one of the little ends of that corner right there and not being able to fully tighten it back down. And at that point, you'd have to cut the pipe and start gluing on parts. 
Now with it all in place and tightened down, we can go ahead and test it out a little bit. I think there's still a little bit of water in the line. Yeah. So, as you can see, easily pulling out, going back in, cutting off that water, and we're all good to go on this. Well, I think that about does it for today's installation of the Valterra double waste valve here on our 2011 Coachman Freelander Class C motorhome. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.